and I'll show you now down facing dog and up facing dog with a couple of asanas which are very good to stretch your body in the down facing dog you stretch in back of your body you stretch in back of your legs and up facing dog you open front of your body stretch in front of your body both asanas are very intense very good for this reason for your back also for the same reason you should be quite calm uh, careful when you start your practice especially especially if you're stiff in your back and your lower back in particular so just observe your body don't rush too much don't push it so over push your body where it's not ready to go yet and i will tell a few more words while i'm doing this asana so to point to some particular benefits of this asana some particular hints how to do this asana so down facing dog is the one when your face is down, you're trying to reach with your heels on the ground, keeping both your legs straight. Your heels trying to reach on the ground, keeping your knee joints straight, your legs straight. What it does to your legs, it stretches behind your leg. Then you're trying to keep your tailbone as high as possible, pushing with your arms, your chest closer to your knees. This way you also help you to stretch your legs, you're stretching also your back your lower back, hold your back, your arms you tone your muscles, muscles of your arms, muscles of your legs and it's very good for your back as well for your back, for your abdomen, for your internal organs in this asana, in down facing dog you close yourself, your internal organs a bit you also breathe quite deeply, quite slowly so it's a gentle massage for internal organs, but it's there. Also, with your deep breath, you develop capacity of your lungs, especially in up facing dog. When you're going forward, taking your feet to the ground, your knees off the ground, you open your chest, your shoulders, you're looking up, your legs behind straight, your chest open, your shoulders open, and you breathe. You stretch front of your body, you bend your back. It tones your back very nicely, gives fresh blood supply, makes your back less stiff, more alive, more flexible again. With exhalation, you're taking your feet on your toes, pushing yourself back into the down facing dog again. And stretch more. forward, feet to the ground, again open up, knees off the ground, on your feet and your palms touch the ground, touching the ground. Exhale again back. It's also very good for your arms for muscles of your arms, for your shoulders to tone and strengthen your arms, your shoulders, your upper body once you're done, you take yourself up on your toes forward and down and you take yourself sitting on your heels, your arms back your back round to relax your back and you relax in child pose for a few breaths.